Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! My dear viewers and subscribers, here is another tutorial video about repair and maintenance of the machine. I'm going to show you how to repair a rock gear of the late machine. A rock gear has its mating part, which is called the pinion. The pinion gear is still good, wala pang bunge, but the rock gear has few teeth yan, mga tatlo, that are damaged, causing the carriage of the lathe to jam while moving along the lathe bed. Since the rock gear has only a few teeth that are damaged, I will just repair it instead of making a whole rock gear, which I think is a more practical way. I will just build up the damaged teeth by the use of shielded metal arc welding or small before I'm going to reshape the broken teeth by the use of milling machine or a shaper machine. Here are the tools and supplies needed for building up the broken teeth of the rock gear. We have the portable arc welding machine, tinted and clear lens, steel brass, chipping hammer, gloves, and the bench vise, of course the bench, and the welding electrode. E6013. Okay, since I don't have a welding booth, I will just perform welding operation here in the bench. So there is a technique in welding operation na kapag only small part of the job has to be welded at hindi dapat tamaan yung katabing ipin, naglalagay tayo ng oil or grease dito sa mga katabi niyang teeth na hindi dapat tamaan ng welding. Okay? So, naglagay na tayo ng grease. Yan. Okay, so let's start. So, we'll just set the inverter type welding machine up to 160 amperes. Now, para solid yung ating solidified metal at may iwasan yung pagkakaroon ng bula, kailangan paunti-unti lang yung welding then, gagamit tayo ng chipping hammer para matanggal yung slug. Ayan. So, that is the chipping hammer. Tanggalin natin yung slug. At steel brass. Okay. Para sure na wala matira doon sa mga slug. At malinis yung welded metal. Or yung solidified metal. Very good. Ganon. Parang pack weld ang dating. Intermittent welding. Para maiwasan yung pagka-melt o pagka-lusaw ng workpiece. Okay. Pag nagbibuild up, be sure na yung solidified metal natin ay mas mataas kesa yung original tip. Para ma-ensure natin na kapag Clean surface na natin ay maatin natin yung original height of the teeth. Okay, I will now machine the surface of the welded part of the rock gear in order to obtain the original width and height of the workpiece.
This is now the original height of the rack gear. So dito naman sa side, the width. Okay, we are now ready to machine the teeth of the rack gear. But before that, we need to calculate first the linear pitch of the rack using this formula. Linear pitch is equal to 3.1416 divided by the diametral pitch. So this is for English system. 3.1416 divided by 10 is equal to 0.31416 of an inch or 7.98 millimeters. The 7.98 millimeters or 0.31416 of an inch is the distance from a point on one tooth to the corresponding point on the next tooth of a rock gear. And the whole depth of the teeth is equal to 2.157 divided by diametral pitch, which is 10, equals 0.2157 of an inch or 5.48 millimeters. Now, since I don't have a rock indexing attachment and a universal head milling attachment, which are for milling machine, I'm going to use a shaper machine in shaping the teeth of the rack. Now, since gagamit ako ng shaper machine in reshaping the teeth of the rack gear, I have to use a single point cutting tool or known as a tool bit. As we have learned from our past lesson about gear making, when the number of teeth of the gear is 135 to rack, the flank of the tooth of the gear is almost straight. So, anong basihan ko ngayon para sa shape ng tool bit? Gagamitin ko itong groove ng rack gear na hindi halos nagamit para sa shape ng tool bit na gagamitin. So that the teeth of the rack gear to be machined will also be the same with the shape of the original fit of the rack. Okay? So, dito ko na kukunin yung shape ng tool bit sa groove ng rack gear na hindi halos nagamit. Then, perfect pa siya. Yan. So, konting bawas ko lang dun sa nose ng tool bit. Okay, babawasan ko lang kanti. So, kaya meron akong white paper beneath the workpiece para makita ko yung fitting ng tool bit at ng groove ng rock gear. Yan. So, perfect na. Pwede ko na gamitin ang tool bit sa shaper machine. Okay, na-install na natin ang tool bit. Now, in order to obtain an accurate teeth of the rack gear by the use of the shaper machine, the workpiece should be positioned 90 degrees to the ram. Okay? Then, it should be flat with the machine table. Hindi pwede yung tabingi. Otherwise, hindi ma-obtain yung perfect alignment ng teeth ng rack gear. Okay, kailangan yung tool bit, may position natin dito. May tapat natin sa rack gear. Okay, loosen the tool post. Then, pipili tayo ng groove ng tip ng rack gear na buong-buo. Okay. Ayan. Dapat, naka-position yung tool bit or naka-fit exactly with the group of the rock gear. Ayan. 
Then, tighten the tool post. Then, set natin ang graduated collar ng vertical head and the cross rail of the machine. Okay, set natin sa zero. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. Zero na rin. Okay. So, remember, the linear pitch of the rack gear is 7.98 or roughly 8 mm. Ayan. The whole depth is 5.48 or roughly 5.5 mm. So, ngayon, yung full depth natin, ito na reference natin. Naka-zero na tayo dito sa graduated collar. Diba? Then, the tool bit is now at the full depth of the teeth. Yan. Ngayon, iaangat muna natin ang tool bit. Okay? Now, let's find out or set the length of stroke of the machine. Kailangan... The rule of thumb is the length of the workpiece plus the overrun. How long is the overrun for the length of stroke? 